What's up everyone? You're welcome to this great channel of ours. My name is Oma. If this is your first time here, you're welcome. If you've been an old subscriber, I truly appreciate you. Thank you for your support. I do not take it for granted. All right. Today I want to teach you the importance of any woman in your life praying for you with her left breast are you a mother here pray for your children holding your left breast as long as you know that that your child called that breast ensure that you hold the breast while praying for your child are you a husband here and you know that you are in good terms with your wife. You treat your wife nicely. Both of you are living together. If you're divorced or separated, please don't do this. Encourage your wife to pray for you, holding her left breast. If you're a mother and you're not close to your children, wherever you are, always come out always call the names of your children mention their names one after the other hold your left breast and pray for them that wherever they are no evil shall get to them they will be protected and whatever it is that they put their hands in will be prosperous now a woman is a deity listen to me I am not telling you this for you to believe it. I am telling you this because I know and I'm trying to pass on this message to you. So it's left for you to believe it or not. If you don't believe it, please don't do it. All right? Now, a woman is a deity. She is a deity. That is why you see that if your woman is still in her childbearing age, if she's still seeing her monthly cycle, she is a deity on the days that the blood is running on her. A woman is a spirit. A woman is a creator. Listen to me. A woman is the only being on earth that can touch a charm on her period when she's on her period and the charm will become impotent a woman creates another being altogether woman's power and strength is connected in the spiritual realm on her left breast if a woman gives birth to a child the first thing that the child knows how to eat the first food after bringing forth this child into existence the child suckles her breast to stay alive and stay healthy if you're a woman here and things are very rough for you in your family in your marriage start praying with your left breast for your man as long as that man sucks that, that breast, that prayer will work for the man. Listen to me. Wherever you are, your children are. Always hold your left breast and pray for them. Remember that what activates every spiritual work that you do is your spoken words. It's the words of your mouth. So when you are praying for your children, for your husband, for your boyfriend, ensure that you hold your left breast. If you want it to even go deeper, pray that hold your left breast as long as my child has suckled my breast, wherever he is, no evil shall locate him. Any arrow that is sent to him, may it return back to the sender. 
As long as that man visits what makes you a woman, and as long as that man suckles your breast, pray for him. Put your right hand on your left breast. Use it to lift the breast. Use your left hand to hold what makes you a woman while you go naked. Even if somebody is trying to take your husband away from you, do this ritual. Give yourself seven good nights. When you wake up in the midnight, do this prayer. There is no prayer that is bigger than this. This is a simple secret that I'm leaking out. If you notice that a woman is trying to take, draw the attention of your own son, your son is no longer taking care of you. And you know that you suffered to raise your children. You paid your own dues as a mother. You paid your own dues as a father. And then the child, is, your son has grown up. He is doing well. He has forgotten you. Another woman has used charms to destroy his brain and make him to forget you and all your sufferings. Do this. I'm telling you, this is not... I'm not telling you to read any, any chapter in the Bible. No. This is a pure ritual. Pray. Ensure that you understand the principles of this ritual. You must make sure that you have suffered and earned. Don't do this for someone you know. The child you abandoned years back. And this child is doing well now. You want to come and reap where you did not sow. No. If you know that you suffered or you are there for your husband and your husband decided to pay you back with evil or you know that your man is trying to get in another woman to chase you out of your own seat of marriage. It is just you and you alone. It is just you and you alone. After you are done speaking, Put four, put four seeds of alligator pepper inside your mouth. Chew it. Chew it after chewing it. You spit it outside. Four times. In the east, in the west, in the north and south. Say that so shall it be. That what you've suffered for, another person will not rip from it people coming to my inbox to cry that their men were snatched away from them this one happened the other one happened a rat will never eat what belongs to someone who is awake it's only when you're sleeping that the rat can steal from you be wise you can use this ritual to bring back your lost relationship as long as you know that yes you earn this thing You've worked for it. Both of you have been together. And you know, you can only do this if the person planned to marry you. And another person took him away from you. I'm not saying somebody that has nothing, has not even paid your bride price. You are assuming that you're assuming that this guy will marry you simply because you've been in a relationship for years. No. You will have to go deeper if you want such thing. But for this particular one, if the person is already your husband or your wife, if, if the person is already your husband, go ahead and do it. Return back with your testimony. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. God bless you all and see you guys in my next one.